Hi everyone, my name is Srikant Sagolam. I am an assistant professor at the School of Computing and Electrical Engineering, IIT Mandi. This is a short presentation that will give you an idea of the kind of research that I do and also uh, the kind of MS and PhD positions that are at offer at uh, IIT Mandi in my area of research. This is also an opportunity for intern students um, if they are interested in any of the areas that is being discussed today they can reach out to me and we can have a quick discussion on what we can do together. So let's get started. To, um, to give you a brief overview of uh, where I am from, I am from Calcutta. I was born and uh, brought up in Calcutta. So I call Calcutta my home. And uh, as you may be aware, it is also the uh, city which is famous for its Durga Pujas. And you can see some really nice uh, pandals here. So I finished my uh, undergraduate at uh, the Rajabaza Science College in uh, B.Tech in Optics and Optoelectronics uh, under Calcutta University. After that, I went on to do my Masters under the Erasmus Mundus program, OpsiTech, at the Warsaw University of Technology and uh, also the Friedrich Schiller University in Jena. So at Warsaw University of Technology, I was studying more along the lines of optical design and uh, optical metrology. At uh, Friedrich Schiller University Jena, I uh, studied uh, uh, in the area of metamaterials, I did a theoretical project there. And apart from that, I also had uh, some hands-on experience in lasers. It is in Aston University in Birmingham where I did my PhD and my PhD was in the area of fiber lasers. So here you can see a very vast expanse of uh, Birmingham. This is a slightly outdated photograph. So you can see the railway station here it doesn't look like this anymore. It is much more swanky. But uh, in general, Birmingham is shown in this picture and there are some very famous landmarks here. And I was actually living very close to Edge Baston, so my house is somewhere where I used to live. It used to be somewhere here. And I had the I didn't get the opportunity of seeing any cricket matches at the Edge Baston Stadium, but there's also a very nice park here. Um, currently I am in IIT Mandi. This is the picture of the North Campus. As you may be aware, IIT Mandi has got two campuses, one in the north and one in the south. The North Campus is now home to the School of Computing and Electrical Engineering. We are somewhere here. So actually I am speaking to you from one of these offices here. Right, you can already see the staircase here. So most likely this or this is my office. Right. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a fast growing campus. We have got more plans to grow. And uh, also uh, we have some new departments which are coming up. I belong to Ski. And uh, it's a very beautiful campus as you might have also seen uh, in many other photographs. So this is actually the sports complex and uh, the clouds literally descend into the campus. And you also have uh, other uh, areas nearby and so if you are interested in hiking and you love nature, there's a wonderful place to be. So for me this is like, yeah, I really like it. Right. So, uh, just to give you a brief overview in case uh, you have not directly worked in photonics. So photonics is actually the study of generation, transmission and utilization of light and other electromagnetic radiation. It is often called an enabling science and it is rightly named because uh, you will find a lot of applications of photonics in different areas. For instance in health, communication, uh, information technology, the, the internet is surviving because of the optical technology and because of the speeds offered by it. Then there is also security and now uh, some very important topics which are being uh, uh, enabled by photonics which is climate and sustainability. So photonics touches on various aspects of uh, our everyday life. Sometimes you may not even realize it but uh, just to give you a very quick uh, example of how impactful photonics is. If you look back into the Nobel Prizes which have been offered in the past several years, a vast majority of them uh, have uh, been awarded to applications or, uh, or to discoveries uh, which were given rise uh, because of photonics technologies like microscopes, uh, telescopes and so on and so forth. Now coming to a bit more uh, what I have been doing in the past and what are my areas of research. So. Um, my areas of research are primarily ultra-fast fiber lasers, 
uh, currently I am working on built-in low noise mode locked fiber lasers and uh, in the past in the recent past I have been working on uh, random fiber lasers and my primary speciality is in the real time intensity and spectral measurements of fiber lasers so this is what I did my PhD on and uh, I have also done uh, some work in photonic and fiber optic sensors so this is more or less my uh, um, portfolio of research you can see some of my publications here uh, these have been done over the period of my PhD and also my postdoc at uh, Aston University. More recently I have been working uh, with a colleague at uh, Leibniz uh, Institute in uh, Jena and uh, along with my PhD student uh, from Aston University who graduated and has now joined uh, University of Colorado Boulder and uh, we are working on um, um, ultra-fast bidirectional fiber lasers using the optical sand effect. So this is work which started in 2020 and is currently continuing. Now this uh, is to give you a brief overview of what I am trying to, uh, I have done in the past and I am trying to do here at IIT Mandi. So you can see that currently I am working with one PhD student, one MS, one MSc, two MTech. So I am essentially growing at this point. I joined IIT Mandi in 2020. And I was awarded uh, in September 2020, and I was awarded a DST CRG project, uh, which is which will run for three years till uh, March 2025. So it is in the framework of the DST CRG project that I'll be building low noise mode lock fiber lasers. My work is going to be highly of an experimental nature, and I'll also require theoretical and uh, computational support. And uh, it is under that framework that I'll be building a, a lab here. So the name of my lab is Pratibim. I'll come to it in the next uh, slide. But in uh, just to give you again a very quick overview of the kind of work that I've been doing in the past, and it's most likely that my past work will influence my future work. So here you can see some of my results in ultra-fast fiber lasers and real-time measurements. So in the first graph I'm showing, in the first figure I'm showing uh, some results uh, which are published in 2019. This was. Uh, real-time full field measurements of mode lock fiber lasers using the IQ technique and using this method we are also able to um, characterize the non-linear Fourier transform of fiber laser uh, radiation. Then uh, this is a slightly older work but it links back to the nature comps work which you see here. So this is uh, spatio-temporal dynamics of fiber lasers. So what you are seeing are not numerical results but these are experimental results. So this is actually shot to shot uh, or round trip time resolved pulse measurements in fiber lasers. So this, uh, this is a radiation coming out from a one kilometer non-linear, uh, sorry, one kilometer normal dispersion fiber laser. And there is a plethora of dynamics which we could observe in real time. One of the most important results that we could establish here was the direct observation of uh, dark solitons in uh, such fiber lasers. So these were numerically uh, um, predicted and in our results we could show that yes they do, do indeed exist. Now this is the ultra fast fiber laser gyroscope result which you see here. Uh, there is a very nice uh, figure prepared by my colleague uh, uh, Maria Chernysheva, Professor Maria Chernysheva uh, in uh, Leibniz uh, University, uh, Leibniz Institute of Photonic Technologies. And uh, this is essentially a fiber laser where you are, it's a ring fiber laser configuration where pulses can propagate in both directions. Now if pulses are propagating in both directions in such a ring configuration, you can mount it on a rotating platform and you can directly observe the optical Sagnac effect using uh, time domain measurements or also from uh, real time spectral domain measurements using the dispersive Fourier transform. So this is the result which we showed in uh, APL Photonics in 2019 and uh, this is a more recent result by uh, my PhD student who is now a postdoc Dr. Ivo Kutlin. Uh, at the uh, University of uh, Colorado Boulder and uh, this is the switch on dynamics. So a lot of work has been done in the switch on in investigating how pulses originate in uh, fiber lasers and here you can see uh, how it originates actually in a bidirectional fiber laser and you are, what you are seeing is actually the real time autocorrelation function. So this is from spectral measurements. So these are some results which came out in uh, communication physics in 2021. And uh, I have also worked on random fiber lasers, so uh, we were uh, able to show that there exist uh, spectral correlations in uh, random optical fiber lasers 
and this was uh, shown in NatComs 2015 and you can see that there are some long living modes much similar to the kind of modes that you would observe in powdered random lasers uh, and also in other systems so we are able to show uh, the occurrence of such narrow spectra in random fiber lasers also so currently i have uh, running collaborations with aston university uh, leibniz iphd and uh, through my uh, uh, through dr kudlin uh, i am collab collaborating with uh, university of colorado boulder and NIST because he is on a joint uh, uh, employment there okay so Pratibham Photonics Labs is what I am trying to build here and these will be uh, state of the art photonics labs at IIT Mandi and uh, the research areas are primarily going to be ultra fast fiber lasers, uh, fiber optic sensor platforms and uh, uh, lean optomechatronics and I am actively uh, seeking bright and motivated uh, MTech and PhD students and also project and intern students so if you are interested in doing a short term project um, in any of these uh, topics or in any other topic that is of interest to you and you would like to explore please do get in touch with me I am more than happy to explore that area with you too and this also applies for MTech and PhDs while I do have some ideas in mind I am more than open to working on a topic of your interest which is related to photonics or applied photonics and uh, I am more interested in building stuff so I am more interested in doing experimental stuff so if you would like to work in the area of applied photonics and you like to build something you like to make for India uh, do get in touch with me I'm more than happy to have a, a more deeper conversation with you so you can get in touch with me over these uh, platforms my email is the best way to reach uh, me um, I usually respond in uh, within a day uh, my website is also, will also give you some information about my research more detailed information about my research and other activities I'm also teaching a lot I share open source uh, materials. I have also shared open source material related to uh, measurement and instrumentation lab there, so you can find that. I am available on LinkedIn and on Twitter and on YouTube. I have put on some videos uh, related to uh, uh, academic research, some uh, uh, writing uh, related videos. So you are more than welcome to have a look. So yeah, thanks for your time and as I mentioned earlier, please do feel free to reach out uh, to me and I'm more than happy to have a conversation with you.